Hello, hello. I just feel like my lighting changed. Why? Why? Always and forever. I know. Mon the hot mess. Tell me where I am. Let's see if it's going to give you guys any bit of notification. Move around my setup here. No, doesn't want to move. Hello, hello, hi Cass. Okay, we're gonna just go with that. That's good enough, right? That's good enough. It's been a week, guys. It's been a week. I put myself together for you, though. I hope you know that. I literally was just like, I'm gonna go put on makeup and make myself look like a real human right now. Because I haven't looked like this this week. I haven't looked like this this week. Hello, hello. All right, let's get rocking. This is social media training two. Today I'm gonna to be talking kind of about, I need like a stand for this. I have so many stands, yet never enough stands. Can we just talk about that for a second? This hold it. Do you wanna hold it? Oh, that might work, that might work, we're gonna see. Hello, hello. All right, so today we're gonna to talk a bit about systems. Some of the systems that I have used for years and of course altered and changed, um, as well as why it would help you with time management when it comes to social media and kind of really focusing tonight specifically on, okay, on Facebook and Instagram tonight. All right, that's kind of where the focus is really gonna be. So if you're an expert on Instagram or Facebook, then this might not be for you. If you have your stuff, you know, kind of a schedule on how you do your social media and stuff, then you might be good to go. If you don't, you should stick around because hopefully some of this will stick, literally. So let's get rocking. Is this the right page? Yep. Okay. Super simple. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not, guys. Ready? Oh, well, I can't see anything. I think I've gone more blind in the last week. <gasps> Super, super, super simple. Simple, I cannot speak. I'm looking for my piece of paper, I apologize. I pulled out other papers and now it's gone. What did I do with it? Here it is. I was looking for pink and it is not in pink. Okay. A little bit better, a little bit better. Not as much of a glare. Social media content. So that's kind of the systems I want to talk about at first. How do I do it? So every week, and I mean this, I don't care. If you work for a social selling business, you need to you need to post on social media. We're not going to go through this again. I'm not going to go over the whole Gen Z thing. Go watch that. But I am going to say though, is I'm going to emphasize this a thousand times. Mon, how were you successful? Consistency. How was I consistent? I made systems. All right. System, system, systems. I have pivoted, I have changed them, I have altered them. I can even tell you my formulas and how I've altered them. But right now, this is what I've been doing probably the last year to six months, six months to a year, all right? I pre-plan a lot of my content, all right? Does that mean when something happens, like tonight when I made cookies that I didn't use that as my post? No, because it made sense just to use that tonight but I have other stuff I can post because I've been super busy this week, yet I've still posted something. I've still posted reels. I've gotten like 100,000 views on Instagram in the past week. Why? Because I planned, all right? I didn't know that my, you know, our, our nanny wasn't gonna be here this week, but I didn't stop working my business. I didn't make excuses. See what I did there? It's actually a really great example of that because I had planned this stuff over a week ago. So how did I do it? Usually I pick a day, for me it is Sunday, all right? My kids are, I usually don't have my big kids Sunday night, we just have our littles, it just works for my schedule. Going into it, especially if you're working in nine to five, Monday through Friday, Sunday might be a great night. I have always done Sundays for nearly seven years, all right? I need to bed at 7.30 every night, my kids are Sunday nights, my kids go to bed, I sit down and I map, all right? I have now made you what I've basically been doing for years in a cute little thing. You can find that at the top of the screen um, or the top of the pin post, one of the pin posts in the group. But I always have five to seven posts ready. What does that mean? That means I have photos ready, I have it written, and I have an idea of when I'm gonna post it. And it's a diverse 
All right, so five to seven diverse topics. I want you to think about that. Five to seven, at least one of them needs to have your face. All right, you need to have a selfie in your pictures. You guys go look at my page, you'd be like, Mon, are you like Bane or something? No, people need to see your face. People aren't gonna buy from you if they can't see you, okay? People want to connect with you. How do you connect with people? You look them in the eyes. You'll notice a lot of my content has me. I might be holding the product, I might be being silly, but you can see my face because that is what people need to see. I do that strategically, not because I like what I look like. Trust me, okay, that's not what it is whatsoever. Um, whew, that is so good, yes, it has done. All right. Always have a pitch ready. Always have a pitch ready. Always have a pitch ready. Especially, why do I want you to always have a pitch ready? Because if you do your engagement post, which is your third one, your third of the like seven different kind of contents, and we're gonna really get into content and like more so and some scripts and like how to's next time. And then we'll get into TikTok and all of that. This is kind of the overall brief and the formulas, okay? So this is for my formula people. So you kind of have a grasp and then we'll get into it more into it deeper. So if you have questions, ask them. I might not answer them until next time, but definitely ask. So a value post, all right? Value post. What is a value post? That's giving something away without expecting something. That is giving, you know, a tip, a trick. It can be about your product. It can be about something else. It could be like, hey guys, at Aldi this week, they had, you know, the advent calendar, the wine advent calendars, mom's run, all right? $21.99, I don't even know what they cost, but I always see them and want them every year. We don't have the Aldi, so. You know, but you're giving value, you're telling people where to go get a steal, okay? You're telling people to go get something that they want, right? Oh my God, I found this great hack for taking out stains. You know, grease stains or, you know, dirt stains out of my kids' uniforms. You know, baseball uniforms, the knees are always, you know, grass stained or whatever. I found this great fun trick. Look at this. Phew. Value post, all right? It doesn't have to be crazy. It just has, it could be if you're like, oh, I don't know what to put. Tell them about our lip stuff. Okay, tell them how it is cleaned by the industry and, and explain, that, and, and don't sit there and just say that, but tell people like, you know, if you, how to use it or how long it lasts and I give them that value. So you need to have at least one post a week with your face in it. Honestly, three of the seven should be minimum. I mean that, show your face. You don't have to look like this. Like I said, I did this for you. I did this for me, but because I was gonna come on and actually talk to humans tonight, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get like fun, whatever. My hair was clean, so it was, a, it was an extra bonus. Show yourself. Show yourself as a hot mess in the car line. Show yourself all put together for date night. Show yourself in the beginning of the day versus the end of the day. It doesn't matter, just show yourself, all right? Don't change who you are. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. You need to have a pitch ready. Why? Because you're also going to do an engagement post every week. What is that? You know, that has to do with, you know, at, that's how you're going to get to know your audience. You really want to get to know your audience. That's where the engagement posts become your best friends. All right. That is, do you prefer this team or that team? This sport or that sport? This color or that color? You know, crossbodies or book bags? You know, you're getting to learn things about your network. That's how you're going to bond with them. That's how you're going to build relationships. Those engagement posts are actually like, that's like your cheat sheet to get in in the conversations, okay? There's nothing more that people like to do, especially Americans, all right? And that is to give their opinion and what they like and to tell you about themselves. It's really big. So a value post, all right? Giving value of some sort. Um, Gratitude post. Gratitude post, you should be, or, or, you know, I like to use it almost like a lifestyle or a gratitude post. The lifestyle, and I actually put that into more like pillars, and they can all kind of inter, remember, these can all intertwine, but you need to have at least one to two pillar posts a week, right? That's your lifestyle. That's your pets. That's your kids. That's your work. That's your favorite things, you know? What do people know me for? Disney, one of my favorite things. Target, one of my favorite things. Baby Yoda, one of my things, okay? You think of my favorite things, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. My naked cats, that's one of my things, right? Like people think of me and my lifestyle and they think she has those weird looking cats. Get it all the time. What do people do when they see weird looking cats? They think of me. Yeah, like that's it. They think of me. So 
Also an emotion post. And what does that mean? It doesn't have to be a serious emotion. It can be funny. It can be quirky. It can be sarcastic. It can, it can be light or sad. It doesn't need to be deep always. It doesn't need to be always lighthearted. It can really change, but I think it's like 80% of people buy from emotion, like, you know, based on emotion, people buy based on emotion. If you're not showing people you and kind of who you are, and if you're like, I'm not an emotional person, that's not what I'm talking about. Share things that have emotion behind it. That can even go in with your gratitude, you know, like, wow, I don't, you know. So really think about that. And you're like, I never know what to post. I give you a content calendar every single month. And then I just gave you seven to eight things right there that you can pull from at any time. If you can't think of a pillar post, one to two pillar posts a week, a pitch, always have the pitch ready because I'm telling you, if you have a, because you might think it's going to be like, I always try to have you do the engagement post a day or two before you pitch because your algorithm's up. All right, that's strategic, I'm my fault. If you all of a sudden have an uptick of on one of your posts, like kind of take off and you have a lot of comments and you're responding to them all and you're having lots of likes or loves or laughs or whatever, change it up. It's okay to pivot because you have that pitch ready. You don't have to be like, oh shoot, now what do I post the next day? All right. Also batch create. So we're going to talk a lot about reels going forward. There's going to be a lot more about reels and videos, short videos, YouTube shorts, TikToks, all across the board, batch them. How have I batch them? Not only batch them, use things you've already done. I have made five, remember I got food poisoning a couple weeks ago, didn't get to go live for the team, right? I was also, that was going to be my content day. And I was going to batch create for the entire week that I was going to be going in Florida. All right. Cause I wasn't going to work. So what did I do? Well, when I came to on Wednesday, I literally took, I wasn't able to make those. So I took things I had already done lives that I did on my personal page. I cut little Pete like screen recorded and cut little blips out of those and took photos that I had and I made reels. I didn't miss a beat. I didn't have anything with new, but I had other things and I repurposed it. I'm working smarter, not harder. All right. Don't keep trying to reinvent the wheel. Don't work against yourself. Use your content against all the platforms. All right. And so what does batch creating mean? That means you should be recording five to 10 at once. Basically, usually what I do is in the morning, like the day before I'm going to create the day of or the day before. I give myself like 10 minutes and I go through and I scan the best. Um, you know, I find like, and I just save them. The ones that like, oh, I could do something with my, you know, we're gonna talk about Instagram and all that really like in detail why I think that's where you should be making your reels more than ever. Um, and there's a good reasoning behind it. And I'll look at, see, oh, I like that sound or, oh, that would be funny with this or oh, I could do that. Anything that sparks an idea instantly gets saved. And then when I go to do them, I literally just sit there, I'll put my hair up, I'll put my hair down, I'll change my t-shirt. 90% of what you see I do, I've done, like I'm just now, I think I have like two more, and then I need, I'm gonna, cause I know I'm gonna record this weekend. It's like, they're all the same. Some of my hair is up, some of my hair is down, some of them's before I put my makeup on, some of them's after I put my makeup on. I literally have, look at this. Like I'm ready. I already had pulled my shirts for the week. Like I have my t-shirts ready that I know I'm going to be using and wearing in my reels. Like I'm ready to go right here. This is where I record most of them, right? So they're all done at once. I take 30 minutes and I record seven days minimum worth of content. 30 minutes, guys, you have 30 minutes. I'm sorry, you have 30 minutes. Have your kids help you, put your kids in them. Okay, you can't be like, oh, my kids are too loud. It doesn't matter. You don't have their sound. You have a sound clip. They can be screaming in the background. It's okay. It's not recording your sound. Think about it. No excuses. Like, let your kids yell. Let your dogs bark. Let your life be. You can still record and look at a camera, right? You still have your phone in front of you. You could still do it, I promise. Like, it sounds so much harder than it truly is if you just do it. So, just remember, we're building a brand. As we go, now we're gonna go into the, like the real specifics. We're building a brand, right? It has to be real, it has to be you. You don't wanna be me. So often what people do is they're like, oh, they try to be someone who they're not. Like, oh, I wanna be more like her, I wanna act like her. 
And then they get people, they're attracting people that aren't really their real people. They're not their people. You want to find your people. I have my people. I'm so thankful for them that I have my people because I didn't know who I was. So the fact that I now know who I am and the fact that I have people because I've attracted them because I put myself out there, it's that gift that keeps on giving. It gives you back so much more than you'll ever know by just sharing a little bit of yourself. Also, why don't you think about something? I forget where I heard it. It was somewhat recently, but it literally was like, if everybody likes you, then you're doing something wrong. You're not attracting the right people. You are not being real if everybody likes you. And who freaking cares? Do you know how many people are ill-liked and they're very successful? You don't have to like me. Okay, I don't, I have used to be one of my number one things I would tell everybody on the team. I'm not for everybody. And that's why I love this industry because maybe, you know, your upline between me and you is, you know, your person or one of my uplines, you know, they speak your love language. That's awesome. That's, that's okay. So you got to get out of your own head. Like stop with that. You got to stop, 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 stop. Okay. So weekly I'm doing this, right? I'm doing the pre-planning. Sunday night, and then usually I, might do, usually I do my reels Monday, Tuesday, this week, that did not happen. <laughs> that did not happen, so it'll be weirdly this weekend, but I am gonna batch create. All right, with that, every week on Facebook, here are your systems, here's my systems, ready? You need to be doing one live a week. Everybody says Facebook Live is dead, guys. Last Thursday, last Thursday? Yes, last Thursday I went live on my personal page for like three to four minutes. Come finish getting ready with me before I went live and did our unboxing video in the join group. I didn't even have hashtags on it. I went back and put hashtags on it after I hit a thousand views. Last I looked, it was like 1800 views. Tell me Facebook is dead. Facebook live is dead. It's not what it used to be. People, I'm not having hundreds of people jump on like I once did in my old VIP page, no people are still watching all right people still there is n there is no better way and easier way for people to know you than to see you live you don't need to go on there for an hour and give them your life story but you can go on there for a few minutes and show them how you're doing you know how you get ready or you know your new favorite mug or look what I found in the dollar section or you know I'm in the car line and I'm eating cookies before my kids come and take them from me The exactly they all still help them have good nails that's great all right one live a week you should be trying to add five five new people to your friends list in your network every week you're like huh? how do i do that reels how else do you do it adding friends of friends how else do you do it nailing people and having them friend you right there on your link tree I gave you three. I just gave you three really fast. We can keep going, but we're not going to. Five people, that should be that. If you want to continue to grow in your network, five new people in your network a week. Three new organic conversations of the five people. Go look through your friends list, all right? This is a really good one. This is what I've been doing in my WAMs, my directs, my running groups, my Jamaica groups, all of them. Three new organic conversations a week. It's not easy, It's easy. like that is not easy. You have to go, and who is this? Who is these organic conversations? This is somebody in your network, already in your network or newly in your network that you may have been friends with them years ago. Maybe they're a high school friend, a friend of a friend, a work friend, but you've never really spoken. These are people who are not customers. These are people who are not on your team and you are not talking about Color Street. No, no, Color Street, no customer, no Color Street team, no Color Street talk. You are building relationships. Why am I here seven years later? Because I build relationships. People, that's it. That, that is truly, that's, that's, I think we really are overcomplicating this. In this industry, no matter how much it changes, at the end of the day, it's about connection. And we might be connecting with people differently and in a different fashion, in short little clips over long videos, or maybe it's, you know, one post a day, and it used to be three posts a day. You know, I used to have to do this at three posts a day. All right, we did three posts a day at our VIP and our personal page. Candace is on here. I saw her before. She will tell you. We were doing three a day. That was the algorithm. We did morning, midday, evening. We used to have, they used to batch their outfits even. Like when we used to work, we used to literally, 
have one day and we take all of our photos, our outfits of the day for the week. If you, the day I washed my hair, I took all my photos. I put on like 70 outfits and took all the pictures. Three was the golden rule. That's how we got here. That's why Candace has been here with me for a long time. You wanna know why she's at the top? Cause she did the three golden rule. We were doing that golden rule. Like it was, it was our, it was everything. All right, that was it. You get one, guys, you get one. This is like, that's like, it's nothing. You can do one post a day. You are interesting, all right? All the photos in one day. We've always done these methods. These have worked for so long, and I'm telling you guys, they still work. This is why I do it. So, one live, three organic conversations, five new people in your network. After you have those, this is where I'm gonna have, I will have this for you by Monday, okay? This tracker. And I mentioned it last time. The tracker is when you have these new organic conversations. Once you have them, I want you to be able to remember them. Because here's one thing that I have done, especially with my fun you know, ADHD and just being, you know, squirrel and busy, busy, busy moms. And all of us, we all have our things, right? Sometimes I lose sight of people. And that is true. And that has happened. And that really sucks because you've started, you already started the work and you did the hard part. And then they find, like, kind of like got lost in translation. If you have this tracker and then I do, I'm going to do little check marks because every week you need to touch them twice. A touch is a like, a comment on one of their things, uh, a response to one of their stories, a hearting one of their stories, somehow touching them. I know that sounds really inappropriate, but that's kind of how I just think of it. Like you want to make sure you're making contact with them or having some kind of form of connection twice a week after you've had that initial um, conversation. So that is big. Daily, so that was weekly, right? The, the kind of weekly mindset, setting up your stuff, doing that. Daily, this is a big one. I actually am not, and I need, and I am victim, or not victim, I am not, haven't been great at this, and this is something I'm gonna work on because it's a free way to touch people. Like, it's free, it's now, like all you're doing is just being nice and genuine, right? Happy birthday messages. And I know so many of you do them and I'm and it's so good. Keep doing those. Those are great. Happy birthday messages. You can do them via their personal page in their stories. It allows you to like add into their stories, like a happy birthday in their stories, or you can PM them, right? If you're going to PM them, voice message them. All right. It's so good. Like voice message them. You don't have to sing to them. I know some people are singing and I've seen all the creative ones are super cute, but don't be, you know, if you really, really want to connect with them, just wish them a happy birthday. But if you're doing it on their personal page, you're doing it anywhere, make it personal. So if you don't have a picture or something, like if you have pictures, yeah, add a picture of you and that person, all right? If you don't, because you know, they're not, they're in like your cold dish, you know, that lukewarm market, make sure you're using their name, okay? Don't, and make sure if you see that they have a nickname, make sure you're just using like, if it's Jen with two N's or Jen with one N, like, Think of, look at those things. Those things mean something to people. And they, and I have mm, freaking worse at saying people's names. <laughs> but those are the things I try to look for and make sure I'm using the right ones um, when I'm, you know, messaging people or putting stuff on their page. So making them personal is really big. Excuse you. Hold on. My thing turned off. This is everything. Go into your friends list. Again, I know. You're like, again? Yes. When you're in the bathroom, when you're on a break, when you're sitting in the car line, when your kids are having their screen time or even in the tub and you gotta kinda sit there but they're really fine, like you just gotta make sure they don't like drink the bath water or whatever when they're that age. You know, not the ones you gotta actually support and stuff. 10 to 15 genuine comments or questions on people's things. This is again, this is not your color street sisters. I know you love them, but I see you guys messaging all over each other's things because you love each other. And I appreciate that. And I love that. But don't tell me you don't have time to do it on 10 to 15 people that are going to better your network, better you, make you money, make you hit your goals. That's more important. And honestly, your College Street sisters upline, downline would much rather see you hit your goals and be successful and be proud of yourself than you telling them that they look good in that shirt today. Go tell somebody else who looked good in the shirt. All right. It's big. I have to be better with that. So I love you guys, but I see it all the time. I know you guys are on social media because you're commenting on everybody's stuff. But then you tell me you have no connections with people on social media. Go do it. If you have 100 people on there, I bet you at least 20 of them you've not spoken to in the last 30 days. 
all right? You have to interact with them. They are important. They are your bread and butter. They are gonna be your future stylist. They are gonna be your future, you know, beauty social host. They are going to be, you know, your best referral you ever had in your business and you don't even know it yet. They are who you need to talk to. I'm glad you love that lip color on me, but go tell somebody else they look beautiful today. If that means that you don't give me that compliment, take it away, all right? I am very okay with that. You have my permission. Like, please go tell, and honestly, I don't look at my news feed anymore, guys. Very rarely do I actually go down my news feed, okay? When I get onto Facebook, I will look at where my numbers are with like reels and stuff like that. And then I go right into friends list first before I'll let myself scroll and get lost in the scroll. Don't even go look there because if you're looking through there, you might not find things and you're going to get distracted and you're wasting time trying to find something to comment on. Go to their page. If they have a story up, first off, if you see a reel on their page, comment on that first. This is the order of importance you should be making comments and liking and hearting things. Reels is number one. Stories is number two. If they don't have a reel or a story up, personal page post is number three. So when you are commenting, again, I'm going to repeat that one more time. When you are going to these 10 to 15 people daily to make a genuine comment, and this is not like a love you know, emoji. This is a, oh my God, that is my favorite chapstick too. Or have you tried this flavor at Dunks and with this, I like to add that to it. Or here's, oh, I love that healthier way. I'm going to try that. Thank you so much for this recommendation. Like these are actual comments. Facebook is not going to give you their little love. They're not going to give you that, that friendship check in the algorithm by you putting a heart emoji on something. You'll see me put a lot of heart emojis because I want you to know I love you and I try to be fast, but those are usually not my cusp. If you ever see, if I'm like writing something, it's probably because they're one of my people that I'm trying to connect with or continue to have a connection with. All right. So 10 to 15 a day, go straight to your, go straight into your friends thing. One, two, you know, write in your friends list, pick those out. Reels, if they have a reel, number one, that's where you should be commenting. They have stories, number of importance for, for algorithm purposes. Rails, stories, personal page, like a, an actual post. Does that make sense? Let me know if it does even with you when you're watching the replays. Reels, stories, post. All right, you wanna engage with people. Even better, if you can ask a question, that's the best thing you can do. Questions are everything, all right? And the easiest way to do it is to not even go to your news feed. Not go to your news feed. Thank you. You understand? I don't have time. Well, if you're commenting on my thing and you're in your newsfeed, you have time. I love you. Mean it. Okay. So number three is reels. Tracker. Oh, questions. Let me make sure I have everything. And respond to every comment. So if you put up a post or if you say something and then they respond, make sure you're responding back. Like multiple levels of connection is the way to go. My glasses have the worst glare and they're making me crazy. I am so sorry. You know what it is? It's hairspray film and I actually just need to go wash them with like Dawn soap. They're making me nuts. Now that you know. So reels, we're going to talk so much about them because they have become my love language lately, especially like Instagram and me are, are finally friends. All right. I'm sorry, Mark. I know you technically own them too, but me and Zuck here and Facebook have had a lot of fights in the past year or so. But me and reels, I've, we've gotten real recently. With that, Facebook also has reels now. We're gonna talk very specifically about this. I'm not gonna give it all to you now. One to two reels a day. You should be posting one to two reels a day. You should be posting them from Instagram though and sharing them to Facebook. Sometimes face they won't share directly to Facebook. We're gonna talk all about that detail next week. All right, I'm gonna give you every aspect. Make them an Instagram. Why? Because it, there's. Here's the reason you want to use Instagram. We're going to talk about Instagram next anyways. But Instagram reels, like Facebook reels, making them is more archaic still. You have so, it's so much easier and simplistic to make them. Of all the platforms, the Instagram is really, and that's not my opinion. That is like out there right now. Like I've heard a lot of other network marketers say it. 
whatever, like Instagram is the place to create. Then you're gonna go and I'm gonna give you the apps. Okay, you can take, thanks, thank you Abby, Friendly Plus has been my best friend. I then download it and then take the watermark off. I'm gonna tell you all how to do that, all right? But if you're taking it and you're sharing it directly from Instagram to Facebook, you don't even have to take the watermark off. It just shows it that way, all right? Yeah, so I'm not getting crazy hits right now in a lot of my Facebook ones or my Instagram ones. I don't know if it's because they like that I'm sharing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going with it. But anyways, on both platforms, one to two a day, on any of your platforms that have real options, if you're on TikTok, clearly, that's a given, okay? Instagram, I'm going to, you need to get on Instagram. We're going to talk about that, like Instagram if there's anyone you need to get on right now, to my opinion, it's Instagram. I'm going to give you the facts. Why? Record them in Instagram, though. Just while you're starting. Don't try to record them in Facebook. Record them in Instagram. I promise. I promise. It's so much easier. We'll talk about it. Um, stories, three to seven stories a day. So one post a day. One reel a day. Maybe two if you're feeling real excited stories three to seven it still stands all right go back and watch social i mean we did stories in 2020 guys this has not changed it is still very very much the case do not make it all color street do not make it all pictures of your dog mix it up use stuff that you've used even if you shared it earlier this week the pictures you can share it in your stories later you think everybody that saw this that's going to see your story saw that your stories is like the background of the, you know, it's behind the scenes, all right? A lot of times I'll do, you can do a little like, if you're sharing something, you can go live in your stories that maybe you didn't go live. Um, that's my child not going to sleep, I can hear him. So, anywho, three to seven stories a day. We know the drill, I'm not gonna get into it. You know how to do it. If you don't, the trainings are there. Sorry, children, that should be sleeping. or are going up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs. Personal page, one time, okay? One time a day. No more, no more. Some people say four. No more than three posts a day on your personal page. Like if you're having a really exciting day and you have two, fine. No more than three in one day, all right? And if you do post more than one, do not post for at least 90 minutes in between. Make sure you have a minimum of 90 minutes in between. I actually like three hours, all right? But like the statistic, like at least 90 minutes to three hours in between your post. All right, so that means if you get up at night and post at 8 a.m., which I wouldn't recommend that anyways, well, if you get up and post at 8 a.m., don't post at 9 a.m. too. Facebook is actually going to back you up in the, in the algorithm. It's not the more the merrier. It's quality, not quantity. In all the platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, don't know about Snapchat, but in those three platforms, quality, not quantity. Quality, not quantity. Jen, it's so easy for your stories. How do I come up with it? Guys, I've showed you this. Let's, I'm going to show you how I figure out stories sometimes. I'm not even joking. Social media, when I'm really stuck, I've done this before, and I'm glad you're here because I'm going to do it right now for you guys. I'm sitting at my desk. I sit here and I go, what am I going to do with my stories? And also use this so you can give yourself a little, like as you think of it, just write down the words so you remember to do it. I have a fidget. I'm going to do an Elfie holding a fidget. That's going to be one story. New cup that I'm obsessed with. Gonna do a selfie of me with my new lipstick that's fall colored and like with my fall nails and my fall. There you go. Piles of paper. Do something about like, does your desk look like this? Cause mine does. Like, do you have piles? And then, you know, like how do you, you can do something about that. Usually I have a lip balm on here. It's in the bathroom cause I just put it on. I would do something about lip balm. I know we sell that now, so it's kind of funny. I have Disney stuff. I'll do one. About, oh, haven't done anything about Disney. That's one of my things, right? It's pumpkin season. Make sure you do it. Like, I literally look at my desk. I literally, you are that cool. You're so much cooler. I tell you guys this all the time. I'm so much cooler online. Like, guys, I literally just pick things up. I, I look at my desk and remember the things I love. That's it. And then when in doubt, post, an, uh, post something, food pics. I take food pics all the time. I always have food pics, like, ready to go. Like always, everything, I'm that girl. Like, you ever seen the funny one memes? Like behind every starving man is a girl, to, you know, eating a steak dinner. Like there's that girl to making, you know, making him wait to take a picture of the food. That's me. 
every cocktail that I think is pretty, every food that looks good. So like everything. So truly, truly look around wherever you're sitting. My desk is a really good one for me because it you know has a lot of my pillars on there. It has my kids are sitting here. My goals are sitting up here. It reminds me and that gives me a little flare on my butt sometimes like, oh no, like I need to do this. That means I need to get good content, okay? Food picks literally are everybody's favorite. Everybody loves, I know our kids are cute. They're not as cute as animals and food. And when in doubt, animals and food, all right? I <laughs> see. Thank you, Jamie. Give her shit. All right. It doesn't have to be this crazy, crazy idea, guys. Have you looked at my story? Sometimes I get huge, huge views and laughs and comments or hearts and love, and sometimes they get garbage. And guess what? All that matters is that I'm there. Because at the end of the day, here's the thing about stories. They're helping your algorithm. That's the number one thing a story is doing. Only people that are really looking at stories, especially on Facebook, are people that are already in your network, all right? So really it's those colder, lukewarm people that are in your network, but not really in your warm market, that you're hoping see that, that you can connect with. I do it for them more than anything. But a lot of them is like my regular customers. I know they're seeing that. And that's what I want them to see. Lifestyle, go back to the things I said, those seven things. Um, your pillars, you have your pillars, which so you should have three to five pillars. So there's three to five options there. A gratitude, you can do inspirational quotes, funny quotes, memes, things that are, you're hilarious. Like go find some funny freaking things. Like you should have a whole series, what Jen said today. Like you could easily do that, easily. Yes, so much the season, so much the season. You totally have this, like don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Here's another great example. My daughter, this silly little unicorn has a hole in it and she wants me to sew it. Like I might do a whole, like I might do a, even a post on like, guess, guess you guys didn't know I could sew. Like Monica, the, <laughs> the Hot Mess Express actually has a lot of homemaker. It's like, like qualities that she doesn't allow people to know. Like that could be a total post. I would totally put that in there. Um, trip and fall like that could be it yeah if, if that overthinking that's the greens we're green if you're overthinking you have like an 80 percent chance of being a green if you take the pillars thing just gonna let you know about that okay let's get keep going tips so a few things make sure it's relevant real content don't be posting about baseball if you don't like baseball Don't be posting about baseball if you don't like baseball. Don't be posting about steak if you're vegan. Don't be posting about Disney if you hate it. Don't be posting about Harry Potter if you've never read the books. Unless it's engagement to be like, I really want to read them. I don't, you know, I've never, I am that person. I've never read of anybody else out there with me. You know, you're going to get some stuff. Or what house are you? I'm going to go take the test. Like, I watched the first movie. You know, at least have something. All right. Need a time frame. So the three to seven is a day. Do them at least in two different segments. I usually try to do two to three at once. So I usually do two, three times a day, or like three and three, or three and two, or something like that. Different times, Dolores, and the reason is so that they don't run out. So, because you don't want them to lapse, always. Now, if you're steadily getting so that when those two in the morning run out, you'll still have two sitting there and you'll have through the day to get two more up while the other two are sitting, two or three are sitting there. So that's kind of how I do it. I usually try to break it into two or three times a day. And I have a folder just sitting of photos I'm ready for. All right, my target stuff, I've already made most of those into collages. Like when I do the little stories and I have like five pictures, I've already made those, I've already made them. All right, they're sitting there and then I just upload the story in one. It's already pre-done and pre-decided. Like, I'm gonna do one about food. I'm gonna do one with just pumpkins. I'm gonna do one with kids stuff. I'm gonna do my favorite finds. I'm gonna, I've already done all that work. That was already done a week ago when I took all my pictures and went to Target and did my thing, right? So make sure it's relevant, real content. That's the thing with stories. Uh, what else, what was I just saying? There was something else. You want stuff that's gonna get interaction though. That's really big. There was something I was saying. I forgot guys, sorry, squirrel moment, but I'm glad you did ask that. Yes, so I try to break those up. There was something else you made me think of though, time frame wise. 
but think about it like will this make a meaningful conversation or will this like get people's attention to start maybe commenting those people that don't like it's super random like i put up that i found shoes for like amazing deal last week and a lot of people were rude i was like i would never pay for that for shoes which i don't care what you would pay for whatever for shoes that wasn't what the post was about it was to give the deal to somebody so a lot of people's comments got deleted because it was like i get it but like people were coming off downright rude so not you guys definitely not the team other people other people i'm like why are you in my network you're a nasty person um yes oh i so do that yes 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 always phone i always post with my phone just it's what people are viewing your content you want to see what it looks like on your phone stories are a pain in the butt um to do and especially stories but any of my content 100% of my content comes from my phone. The only time I use Facebook on my personal page, or on my computer, I mean on my personal page, sorry, is when I make an event and I need to invite everybody. And I go on there, I either message Zoe, and it's like, if you're at the computer before I am, will you invite people for to this event? That's what I use it for. And to upload, like I can download, because you can, I'll take this after and download it and then we'll upload it to, you need to do that through a computer. The only reason I use Facebook on a computer is literally those like two reasons. Um, so that was really, armadillos are great. I love, our, I, I had an armadillo post. Somebody sent me a stuffed armadillo because of it. Like I have a stuffed animal armadillo because I posted like, that's the one thing I always wanted to see. And when we went to San Antonio years ago, for leadership i didn't get to see an armadillo and it's all i wanted to see i was very upset i wanted to go armadillo hunting power of social media baby i got an armadillo sent to me i don't like this clinking on my teeth that's why i'm drinking very weirdly with it also call to actions so when you're posting you want this relevant content you want meaningful things you want people to connect with you you want people to give you your opinions you also want to call to action all right i am not the best at this and i'm still working really hard and this is everything like it can even be like my post tonight i should have said like what is your favorite what's your go-to cheat cookie to make or something like that or drop it below if you are a hot mess mom this week with everybody going back to school that's a call to action or like this, you know, share if you're <laughs> share, if you know, or give me a heart, if you know, kind of thing. That is big. Do you really? Was aggressive? Oh my God. I have to go read it cause I didn't see it. Cause I don't look at my newsfeed. A lot of times I have to like go looking for you guys and stuff. So also don't do these posts. These are big and these like, especially with Gen Z, they do not like these posts. Ready? The one is like, and we used to do them all the time with Color Street, and that's why I'm using an example. Don't do these, especially on your personal, especially on your personal pages, because you might be getting things, but you're not getting the right. The ones that are like, we're like, put a angry face if you're this, put a thumbs up if you're this, put a heart if you're this, put a sad face if you like. No, no, no. That's clickbait stuff. They don't want clickbait. They want genuine stuff. They don't want these tchotchke things, especially, especially Gen Z. You know, like, and Facebook alone, like, already doesn't get a good Gen Z. Like, Gen Z is not on Facebook, guys. Millennials and up. Millennials and up. Us old folks are on Facebook. Now, it doesn't mean don't use Facebook. It's still clearly doing something. We're here, right? But that's why we're also going to Instagram. Because we're going to do both. And they're going to talk to each other. Okay. Hold on. I can't see. I know. I have one. I have one with it. And I couldn't find it. It's scaring me though. Jamie, we're going to get better at it together. I actually was doing good because I had a post-it note on my desk. Like when I was making my content. Like, Mon, call to action. Like I need to put it back on my ring light. And it came down when I claimed my desk. It fell off the post-it. And I need to put one up because I'm not doing it. Always have a graphic. All right, just don't post. I mean, I know we have these big things where we make like the emojis. That's that's fine. Like if you're doing that every so often, not every day. Like once every two weeks is fine. Like when you're using the big block. Eh, that's like 10 out of 10, put a graphic. 10 out of 10, put a graphic. 10 out of 10, put a graphic. And if you can put anything, when it comes to Color Street, 
put real graphics, put real Nelpies up, even if they're not your own, real pictures up. Make it real, guys. People want to connect. They can't connect with computer-generated hands or model hands that have been, you know, altered with, you know, Photoshop and all of that. You know, people can just tell that. They want real. People want to connect more than they've ever wanted to connect. All right? Now, make sure the Nelfie looks good. I've seen some Nelfie. I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that either. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? Be you. Show people that you can use these. That's why I always wear them in so many different ways. I have short nails. I have long nails. I have square nails. I have... I love showing the diversity that not one size fits all for Color Street, right? Duh. All right. So, always have graphics. When in doubt, put your face. If you're not going to put your face, put food. Food or pets. It goes. But... Pets don't trump your face because I see you guys putting the uh, your cats in every day. They're real cute and I like cats, but I need to see your face. They're not buying Fluffy, all right? Fluffy is not selling them nail polish. It's you, okay? All right, it's you. These are, I know, this one's like <laughs> the claw hand ones. I know exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Cats, don't make me laugh. <laughs> At first, it took me to the, all I can think of is like Lady Gaga too, from like when she first came out, like in the rah rah rah, you know, like the dance she did. No, just me. Okay, anywho, well that's fine. Try to respond in a sentence. We already said that. Not just the emojis, and then um, if you're using pitches, like I know a lot of people will take what I do. Like they'll see a pitch I like and they'll use it. And I don't think there's a lot of back and forth and how people feel about that. Like you need to make it your own. Like you you should never reuse some. No. I don't think that it's wrong to use an idea that you see, but make sure that you change it into your voice. If you, I speak very distinctly. You can tell probably like when it, it just make it your voice, like don't feel that you can't take that, but make sure you're making it your own and taking your own photo with it and stuff and adding those little touches like that. There's nothing wrong with using something that works. Okay but you have to sometimes do your own too. I'm gonna put that. So Instagram, I am out of time. So we're gonna go really fast about this and we're gonna continue with Instagram into reels and all the real meat and potatoes. I'm gonna show you reels. So I know we've done a real stream. I'm gonna do the new, like it's gonna be the whole thing. Instagram, 90% of people on Instagram, on Instagram follow a business, 90%, nine, zero, percent okay two out of three say instagram enables and like they have interaction with companies and in like and other uh in brands and stuff like that all right the thing is about instagram is that gen z actually likes it too so because they love visual right they love that visual they love photos that like that's just in there it's quick and now has the reels it has that tiktok aspect are more of them on tiktok yes all right you go snapchat tiktok Instagram for them, but they are on Instagram and Instagram everything you post on Instagram can be put into Facebook Okay, so Working smarter not harder. You can use two platforms. If you have not started an Instagram account, please go do it All right, please go do it. We're gonna do a full Instagram training next week Reels the whole thing It is the most popular platform because it does connect to so many others, right? It, it, it talks to the other ones, right? So and Instagram's focus, like I read a bunch of articles, and Instagram's focus right now are not, like their top three things are creators, videos, and shopping, and messaging. Those are all things we do. We're creators. Think of yourself like an influencer. I know, that's what you think of. Like, people love influencers. Gen Z loves influencers. Millennials love influencers. Why can't you be an influencer? Why are you not? You're a brand ambassador in a sense, right? You're selling this product. You're rep representing this product. Think of yourself like that. I'm going to get to that, Kathy. I'm going to get to that one right now. Professional. Professional because you want the insights, okay? So what do they want on there? They're looking for influencers, well-curated content. Again, quality, not quantity. One post a day is more than enough. And you don't even need to do regular posts usually on there. 
I do one reel a day a lot now. I finally gave up my grid. It used to be the grid. It was so pretty. I finally gave it up. I gave it up, guys. And guess what? My numbers have even soared more. All right. I was getting three to 6,000. Now I'm getting like, I have one that's 30 right now, eight, 10. I'm going 13 last night, 13K. Like, I only have 1,600 followers. But I've learned the algorithm. I've learned when to post, when I'm getting the most hits, when I'm doing, like, I worked really hard to try to get this stuff for you guys, really. It was pretty. Thanks, Cass. It was so hard. It was so hard. I, like, I actually had, like, hives. I've had hives of still thinking about it. So, they want more of that put-together look, though, on Instagram. You can't be, you can be your hot mess self, but it has to be put-together hot mess. All right? So, just know that about Instagram. You want to be as real as possible, but it also you have you're just not throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks when it comes to instagram all right you need to put your quality your best work really is there um <clears throat> higher quality photos all right use that portrait mode portrait mode if you have i, I don't know about androids you have an apple or iphone whatever just stick it to portrait mode it makes it look so much prettier that's all all right and there's a variety of usages, even more so on there, because they have stories. Stories talk to each other, right? And Facebook stories talk to Instagram. So a lot of times I'll face, do my stories on Facebook, but sometimes I do my stories on Instagram because I can put a link up. You can put a link, you have the link button, guys. You can put it directly to your link tree or whatever. Also, go make yourself a link tree. Mon, how do you make a link tree? You go to google.com link tree, and it will help. It, you can do it, I promise. You can do it. All right stories there's videos there's reels posts lives um messaging all right communicating with value clear message on how to help them people are looking for how to do things people are looking for you to tell them what color is going to match them people are looking for your input all right people are there to learn about it tips tricks advice people love that on instagram love it all right the younger generation like i said they love it they are on tiktok more but they love it they are learning from instagram they are there to learn and take things in yes google link tree log it literally brings you right there like you guys can do it i promise you, you can do it all right you can also have that carousel if you are doing a post a lot of times i suggest doing the carousel especially if you're doing like tips all right, and a carousel is basically you put multiple photos where they're gonna swipe through because they love interaction, especially Gen Z into millennials. We love tapping things. That's why stories are fun because you can do the polls, you can do um, you know, the little slidey thing. If you're gonna do an actual post and not a video of some sort, please do a carousel in a lot of ways. So thank you, it is very easy, see that? Now all of your videos too all show on your Reels page, which is really cool. So if you go live on Instagram, it all shows in your Reels page. They don't hide like through your feet. It doesn't go down. Like it literally, if you go into your Reels, and next time I'm going to go on my, I'm doing this on my iPad because I'm going to show you my phone and like show you. So go on Instagram, go sign up for Instagram, professional account, connect it to your personal page. Connect it to your personal page. You still have your professional dashboard, all right? You're going to pick whatever you want. I have entrepreneur for mine. A lot of people pick different things. You pick whatever makes you feel good um, for, like, what it says. And do the little bio thing. You know how I always tell you guys, like, that's your cover letter. Make sure you do that. Maybe put an emoji or two in there. You know, it might be, you know, cat mom, nurse by day beauty boss by night whatever you know like whatever it's your little thing you need to have something in there like if you can get anything done put a pro same profile picture you can actually every time you change your profile picture on facebook you just go right over to instagram and say and you go to change picture and it says import from facebook yep boom, you push the button in and it just automatically changes it you need to have your same face on the different platforms my link tree is actually outdated i need to go to my link tree and do the same thing it should be the same on um, with the pink hair on all the platforms okay that's big too you want people to they want to know that they found the right you all right they don't want they want to they need to also see that person that they saw in that reel or that live in that facebook photo okay just so you know don't use one from 10 years ago don't use one where your face is this small because you have five other people in the photo with you all right so big learn from your audience how do you learn from your audience 
with these different methods. Stories, if you're doing polls, quizzes, polls, quizzes, questions, different stickers, you have them pushing stuff. Those are things you're learning. Like there's no point in making these really fun things. Like, yeah, you're getting people to interact with them, but if you're not taking in what people are interacting, if I put up something and like I say like, oh, what, like today, I was like, oh, which one's your favorite of my colors? A lot of people commented. The ones that are my customers are people that are not Color Street stylists. I screenshotted it so I don't forget to go back if I don't have time. Because today has been so crazy. I screenshot it so I can go back and, and message them and be like, oh my God, that's my favorite too. Or wow, that was the one I was the most scared of wearing and I felt really awkward in it or whatever it is. Just be like, just be real about that. All right, hashtags are big. Also locations, you know, tagging your location where you're at. I'm not saying when you're there you have to, but like when you're on a trip and you post it after the fact or whatnot, or if you went out for dinner and you're home and you're not there, like I get it. But track, that's actually a big thing with Gen Z. They like to see, so they like to like experience things. So like if you're at Niagara Falls, let them know. They want to see, like they're going to go look at Niagara Falls and then look at the different people that are there. They're interested in that. So making sure you are, and I'm not saying just big landmarks. It could be Target. Like, don't feel that you can't use, using that location thing is super, um, and you can tell it where it needs to go and don't have it so that it can get into your locations. Like, shut that off. All right, I'll show you that next week. Shut that off so it doesn't actually know exactly, they can't find exactly where you are. You get to choose to tell them where you are, okay? You get to choose. Um, videos I'll share, that'll make more sense when I show you next week professional account because you can see the insides reels are super easy to find the trending sounds too real quick if you want to already start going so if you are like all right i'm going to do it and i'm going to find then you're going to next step you did this you did your photo you have your little bio you're all set up you're connected to facebook facebook's connected but like they talk to each other they love each other and you're like i want to do more before i think it's next tuesday monday or tuesday i'm doing the next one go start looking through reels it's the center button right there's little there's like five buttons there or four buttons it's like the center one. it looks like a little like movie thing when you do that if you see an arrow if you're looking at the screen you're looking at your screen so it would literally be this corner it's your bottom left hand corner there's where the sound is if there is an arrow going diagonal just like this towards the top right like there's a little tiny arrow. If you see an arrow like this, it means it's trending. Save that. Don't waste your time not doing trending ones. I'm sorry. Like it, don't do it. Unless you're doing like a personal one where you're doing your own voice and that's fine. That's cool and authentic. I'll, I'll accept that. Everything else, trending sounds. Let's, let's make it easy for ourselves. All right. Trending sounds are huge. And Instagram's going to, a lot of times, especially when you first start reels, they're going to give you some, they like, they, they're going to reward you for it. All right, so start saving them. So if you see ones you like, you're like, oh, that's funny, and I could do that with nails, or I could do that with my dog, or whatever, and you see that little thing on the right-hand side, there's little dots, and you click that, and you go save. And then I'll even show you where to find your save stuff after, so you can go back and recreate it with the sound and stuff. So start finding like 10 that you like that you wanna create. Link tree, make the reels on Instagram, like I said. And I think that's it. Yes, we did it. Two minutes to spare. I have another call. So with that, that is my Facebook in a nutshell. Everything I did. It was a lot of information. A lot of information. A lot of numbers. I get it. They're all very important. If it is something that you are not, if you're not getting stellar Facebook or stellar growth and you want to continue to work with Facebook for your business, which I don't think is a bad idea, you know, you've got absolutely absolutely go back all of those things are not just things that i do and i know to work for a fact personally they are all fact checked backed up by people that are much bigger and much more successful even than myself and i promise they are good guys this is, i'm not telling you this because i want you to waste your time i want you to not waste your time i want you to use i want you to make stellar stuff in the least amount of time as possible because your time is valuable and money, but it is worth it to put the time and investment to try to learn this stuff down. So anyway, I love you. I'm going to go on my call and I will see you next week.